Uh, what is the state of the freelance slash gig economy that you power so well? How is it doing? Thanks, Brian. You know, we're seeing a lot of strength in the business right now. We had an awesome quarter in Q4, you know, powered over a billion dollars in spend from clients to talent on our website, had a 14% year over year growth. And what's really exciting is the durable, profitable growth in this business as we saw record EBITDA margins in the quarter and definitely have an outlook this year for continued margin expansion as well as growth in the business. So there's a lot of demand for freelance talent, you know, in all categories we serve, which is over 125 categories and from businesses small and large. You know, in Q4, we saw more than 31 enterprise uh, customers active. You know, those are our new logos from companies like Instacart, NYU, uh, Checkout.com and others uh, coming into the product because there's a lot of demand right now from companies looking for an efficient, agile way to tap into the freelance economy. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, I've looked at your platform for other reasons, looking at things for website building and things like that for hobbies and projects and stuff. And, you know, and you get this, it's kind of cool. You kind of watch this bidding process happen. There's also, you're just not for the U.S. I mean, I had people bidding on website stuff from all over the world. Are you, are you a good measure of the global economy or global freelance market as well, Hayden? That's right, Brian. We have a truly global ecosystem that has a pulse on, you know, activity globally from talent and clients. And so we really get a bird's eye view of what's going on in the markets globally. And I'd say what's really interesting right now, clearly, is the conversation around AI. I mean, technology is changing so rapidly and talent in the freelance economy are always in, in any technology change. We've seen this over decades. Freelancers are the fastest to adopt new technology and to be upskilling into new technology because this is what puts food on the table for them. And uh, the AI shift is no different. You know, technology uh, adoption, our platform is um, widespread around AI. And we saw in our tech, in our platform, 70% growth in the AI vertical in the last quarter, which was the fastest growing category. So uh, companies everywhere are really turning to a global network of independent talent to fuel their AI adoption, you know, whether it's building new apps using mm -hmm. GPT-4 or whether it's other things, this is where it's happening. Your stock soared during COVID and the lockdowns. You're based in San Francisco, so you guys were, you guys were shut down for a while. Um, are you counter-cyclical, Hayden, in any way? We, in other words, if we did see a slowdown, we talk all these layoffs. Cisco had a bunch yesterday. A lot of San Francisco, PayPal and others have laid off people. Do you see an uptick in Upwork? You know, what we've seen is uh, a lot of uh, progress in untethering our results from broader macro trends. And I think that was the story, actually, of our results this past quarter. And uh, the broader secular trend around freelancing, Brian, is incredibly strong. You know, this is something that started before COVID and continues to be accelerating even now, both because of the remote work phenomenon, which is alive and well across you know, the global landscape, and because workers generally are looking for more freedom, flexibility, and autonomy in when, where, and how they work. And that is not going away. In fact, that is accelerating. So I think what we're doing at Upwork is continuing to deliver results, irrespective of the broader macro environment, and that's through products that we've built like ads and monetization and other things that really deliver, you know, durable results for our customers. And at the same time, the broader freelancing trend is something that is continuing to grow kind of irrespective, again, of upturns or downturns.